Kelvin Storey is Group Managing Director at Visium South Africa and joins us today with some key trends that we need to look at in the media space. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us, Thank Kelvin. You very much. First of all, you talk about media-led strategies and understanding the consumer is a crucial element in developing this. I get that. I understand. Where's the deficit in that respect? Though? Where do people fail to understand consumerism? I think for uh, different avenues. I mean, firstly, on the marketing side, um, if you look at the past year, there's been such a heavy push in terms of return on investment. And immediately for that, you know, for media buying, that has a direct impact on return investment. Um, I think, uh, you know, previous briefs are always based on awareness, frequency, but that's really dropping off. It's, you know, what amount of leads are pulling through? So we're talking it, but we're not really actually doing it. And I think it's more the case of understanding how are we putting this all together? The big part of it is actually back-end support. So we're putting out all the communication, um, the, the, the message is going out there, the marketers obviously are picking it up, but then when that's coming in the back-end, where's it going? You know, it mm. needs to feed back in, it needs to be a full loop. Um, so I think that's a big aspect at the moment we really need to address uh, and look at. And I think for us, from a media agency point of view, we're shifting. You know, we've got to look at more being data-led agencies and maybe taking ownership of that portion of the client's business. I want to park the data side for just a moment. I want to come back to this understanding the consumer. Mm. I'm glad that I'm in the job of asking the questions and not answering them because I think your job must be very difficult these days. Given that consumer dynamics, the paradigms are changing virtually week by week depending on trend and mm. fad. You know, a consumer's interest uh, on one day might be completely different a week later. How do you grab that smoke? Yeah, and it, it kind of leads to the point mm. of, well, you know, what research do we have out mm. there at the moment? You know, within the, the media landscape in South Africa, it's a bit of turmoil at the moment. So AMPS has, you know, been parked. Mm. We're moving into establishment survey, which is still very early days. I mean, I think uh, we've still got a few months to get through that to make sure it's stable. So a lot of times it's tricky to look at historic data because obviously, as you just said, the consumer's moving and, and, and the habits are changing the whole time. And for us, I mean, from a vision point of view, a lot of times say we actually got to look at live data. We've got Google dashboards available to us. What are people looking for right now? If a TV ad goes out this evening, is anyone actually looking at what Google trend has maybe mm. picked up? What's happened on the, on the marketer's social media page? Um, as well as literally actually going in store and talking to consumers. What's, you know, how are they feeling? Because I think at the end of the day, you know, it, it's linked to if you talk to five people versus 50 versus 100, eventually you actually get the same story. And that's the difference you're suggesting between using big data yes. and clever, clever data. data. Uh, it's, it's, it's perhaps, a, a, it's, it's not looking at the broad brush stroke, it's taking the nuance and the, and, and the, and the smaller insight. Exactly. And I think everyone's been throwing around the big data, uh, sort of saying for quite a few years, but, you know, so what? Mm. Where's the clever data? Um, and, and, you know, you need that key core insight. And I, we always say from a version point of view, is it's a simple strategy we're chasing after, but it needs to be brilliantly executed. What's that core nugget that we can hook onto that then can sort of follow the consumer mm. journey? Let's reverse it in conclusion, if we can. You also raised the interesting point about the role of media itself within the marketer's world. Is that the media, in other words, now be people sitting on this side of the table, having a better understanding of what you're trying to accomplish and perhaps developing more collaborative partnership? Definitely. So from, um, I suppose, even me saying we're a media agency, mm. you'd be implying, well, obviously that's TV, radio, print, press, mm. blah, blah, blah. Not really, you know, it's to the data point. So we need to understand the consumer. We need to understand the environment. You know, we almost are a marketing consultant. What are the pressure points and challenges in the market that we need to address? And out of those two, merging it together, the consumer, what are the pressure points coming up with sort of a common platform that we, know, we now know what to um, sort of uh, catapult from. Just, just quickly, I want to end this on a happy note. Mm. Um, are, are you getting this right? Yes. Uh, I think a lot, it's coming through in a lot of strategies where we are actually being briefed before creative agencies. So it's, it's media-driven strategies. Um, I mean, when we launched Visium just under 10 years ago, we always said we are a media agency that doesn't begin with media, and I think mm. we still stay true to that. And that's where we are going to leave it to Kelvin Story, Managing Director of Visium South Africa. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.